Hey, y'all. So, let's see. What does the collective need to be aware of this weekend when it comes to the karmics? Let's see. Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to know? Oh, they're agents of the devil. Okay, we are aware. <laughs> let's see what else. We have somebody's godfather involved here. This could be an actual godfather or they're in like a religion. And this is the person that got them initiated, their godfather. Let's see what else. We have here a narcissist, Carmelo. So we got a, um, a masculine, a karmic masculine, a karmic masculine. Okay, so the ma the karmics could be uh, a co-worker. It could be an ex-lover. It could be a current lover. It could be a person is stuck in a karmic cycle with somebody right now that they need to, like, you know, let go of. Uh, it could be your mother, your father, your godfather, all right? It could be your neighbor. It could be anybody. It could be a friend, a fake friend. All right, so take it how it resonates. But we have a godfather here who's a narcissist and an agent of the devil. Oh my God, and Carmelo came out again. So spirit is like, yo, put that shit right there. All right, look, we got a godmother. What is going on here? Okay, tell, tell me more, spirit. So they could be working together behind the scenes as godmother and godfather. Could be your godmother and godfather or the karmics. They doing something. Okay, so they're trying to kill you or kill your will to move forward. Oh, well, damn. Trying to kill your will to keep moving forward. All right, so they want you to stop. They want you to give up. They don't want you to move forward. All right. So then that means that they're trying to keep you in a low vibration, trying to keep you stagnant because they're trying to siphon off of you. That's usually how this little game works with these devils. All right. They keep us stagnant. They keep us down for them to come up. Tell me more. We have a master manipulator. So, yeah, these two, take it how it resonates. It could be one person for each, a godmother or a godfather. But um, for some of you, it could be both of them working together. And they are man master manipulators, okay? And we have that uh, somebody is in between a breakup, okay? Or if this godmother, godfather doesn't resonate with you, then, you know, it's probably the Carmelo, you know, take it how it resonates. But somebody is in between a breakup right now with a karmic. What's going on with these cards today? Yeah, we got behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes, they trying to kill your will to move forward. You know, they want you to be stuck. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to, to be determined, you know. They don't want you to be motivated every day. They want you to be in a low vibration, depressed. And that's how they're going to be able to siphon from you. All right, we have here, sending people towards you to get close to you and get information on you. Okay. So you can have people that maybe they're trying to, you know, reach out to you. Hey, how you been? Or maybe even people trying to holler at you, trying to be, you know, trying to holler at you or trying to be your friend. Yeah, but Spirit is saying here, they're opposition. 
Okay, they're not cool. They they working for the ops. Tell me more. Okay, we have here using somebody for money and shelter. We got long distance. We got a hidden camera. Okay. We have here this person works in the same field as you. Okay, so whatever you do, they work in the same field. If you are your own boss, they work in whatever it is that you do. You know, like whatever field you, you're a boss at, you know, they work in that same field. Uh, or they work in the same place you work at or in the same field. All right, we have here free will. We got a voodoo priest. Somebody acting single. And financial entanglements. Okay, what else? The karmic been Googling you. Okay. And we have a karmic stole money from somebody. So if your person is like dealing with a karmic, the karmic stole from them. And this karmic has been Googling you, trying to find out where you live or whatever. Okay. We do have here that is is in between breakups. So maybe this karmic is uh, feeling some type of way, trying to blame you or something like that. Let's see what else. All right, somebody's mentally unstable and sick and trying to gather info about you. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're trying to look something up. They're trying to look you up. We got a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces involved here. All right, so the karmic is looking up information about you for whatever reason. Hmm. Okay. It says karmic and your person is stalking you. Yeah, the karmic is definitely stalking you, Googling you, doing the most. And your person, I'm telling you, this person that uh, is breaking up with this karmic is also stalking you. Tell me more. This, like I said, this godmother, godfather, it could be, it could be the voodoo priest. You know, like uh, the person that is like initiating people into this religion, into this black magic shit. And they could be trying to do this. That's why I came out with this, because they're the ones working for this uh, karmic trying to kill your will to move forward and this masculine energy that's trying to leave. All right, this karmic is never satisfied. Tell me more. Well, we have free will, you know. They probably, that's what they're trying to do. Trying to take this person's free will from moving forward away from this karmic energy. Yeah, this person want to run, all right? Runner energy, they want to run, all right? But this person, they're trying to prevent this person from healing. Because if this person doesn't heal, they stay in a low vibration. That's what they're trying to do. Trying to keep this person there. Yeah, we have here wants out, escape. Exactly. So, yeah, look, we got baby mama drama. This could be somebody's baby mama, baby daddy. All right, this person wants to get out of the situation, and this uh, voodoo priest, godmother or godfather or both, is working on this masculine energy so that they don't leave, so that they feel stuck and decide to just, you know, just stay there, just stay put. That's crazy, y'all. That is so wild. What else? So we see master manipulator. Yeah, we have here scorned, okay, because this person is... uh. It's mad. This karmic is mad. It's like, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right. We have here the karmic stole from them. And we have robbery gone wrong. Spend wisely. Oh, my God. We got a transsexual involved here, too. So somebody cheating or something. Okay. But um, we're going to see what else comes out. But with spend wisely and robbery gone wrong and then karmic stole from them, maybe this karmic, you know, took money 
from this person and they got yeah they got caught up you know they got exposed that they were spending their money we have receiving bad karma so yeah this karmic is receiving bad karma now We have uh, ready, to single and ready to mingle. And it's not his baby. Well, damn. <laughs> so somebody was ready, ready, single and ready to mingle. They was out here in the streets. And somebody is uh, is not the baby. We got baby mama drama. So that baby is not his. That been coming out in every reading, y'all. Every reading. I don't understand. Yeah, this commitment is bullshit. All right, we got snitching. Somebody could have been snitching. Maybe somebody told this person that's not your kid. What else? But I feel like definitely robbery gone wrong and karmic stole from them. Whatever they tried to do, they got exposed. They got caught. Yeah, gossip. People was talking about this baby probably not being theirs. Maybe this, you know, is a stripper, a dancer here. You know, maybe they know that she's for the streets. We see here that she's single and ready to mingle. All right, we got a property or a home. And heavy regret. So the karmic is regretting everything. Could have been trying to lock this person down for a property or a home. And everybody's like, yeah, look. <laughs> and everybody's snitching. Exactly. They all talking. They all talking, snitching. You know, the streets is talking, basically. So this person is trying to break up with this karmic because it's not their child. This came out the other day as well. Yeah, look. Separated. See what I'm saying? They out. All right. We have here a Grand Theft Auto. So something is going on with that. Tell me more. This could be also this robbery gone wrong. Somebody gonna snitch or something like that. Okay, we have this karmic is on OnlyFans. Maybe that's another thing that he found out as well. And he was just like, yo, it's too much. Too much going on here. That's not my baby. You on OnlyFans. You stripping. Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh my God, somebody's passing away. All right. Keep going. Secret addiction. Breaking point. Somebody seeing the bigger picture after being indecisive. Okay. So, somebody going to pass away, though. We got life path 11, 22, or 33. All those numbers could be uh, significant for somebody. So if somebody's passing away, it's because, again, this voodoo priest is over here doing some weird shit. Okay, we have here a crime. And a teacher is involved. Or somebody works at a school. Okay, it says here, hook up. We got mother-daughter duo. And it says, their black magic worked on weak-willed people in the past, but it stops with you. So they was able to do this before, whatever they were trying to do, all right? But it's not working on you because you protected. You know, you are not a regular schmegular person. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful. They could be hating on that. Okay, you're not a regular schmegular person. You're naturally beautiful. You love yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're divine. All right, and the people mad. It says here, uh, cheating to get ahead. Yeah, they cheat to get ahead. They do voodoo on people. They steal. You know, they manipulate people. You know what I'm saying? You're not on that type of time. So you a threat. Yeah, look at that. Crime family and crime. This pe this whole voodoo priest, the mother, the father, everybody is connected here. And we saw the, the mother-daughter duo. So this karmic is also working with her mother. Okay. And look at that. We got, again, family. This crime family. Right? And then we got family. So, they forged your name on something. Again, they be cheating. They be scamming. Okay? And third eye chakra. Alright? Your, your third eye is active. You know? Like, you know something is up. You better believe that. We have the letter N or Z. Take it how it resonates. And holding on. They trying to hold on to you for something. But they scamming behind your back. They use your name for something. Okay, we have here set boundaries because commissary, somebody about to get locked up with that commissary card. All right, and we have cheated and shoot and shooting. So yeah, this karmic is cheating. 
All right, with somebody that you inspire. Oh, boy. And somebody got caught up in a, in a shooting. So, again, crime, crime family. Like, I feel like there's just a karmic out here who's going to who's gonna get somebody caught up in some bullshit. So, stay away from this karmic. All right, we got a promoter involved. We have a barren woman, somebody who's un, um, incapable of producing children. This could be this karmic's mom. And we got a demon dick, which could be this Carmelo energy. Tell me more. Yeah, we have here money schemes. So whatever they doing, whatever crime, it could be something about something about money schemes. Tell me more. Somebody seeing things clearly. Somebody who's younger. All right, we have to do a vibe check. So let's see what we got with the vibe check. Hold on. All right, so we already see that these karmics are doing voodoo. But let's see what spirit wants. Wants us to see. All right, Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to be aware of? The ops are physically, spiritually, and mentally low vibrational. All right? They can't fuck with you. And look, they're not saying that you are naturally beautiful and they're trying to do something with that. You know, they hate that you are naturally beautiful. They're trying to absorb, siphon your beauty, your essence. Okay? They want to stay young. It's like in that movie. Like, the, these witches really be doing that shit. They be trying to siphon people's energy and shit like that. Shit is crazy. All right? We have here a death spell. All right, and it says they made a bad investment plotting on you. Yeah, I said somebody gonna pass away, so they did a death spell. They try to end things in your life, or they try for you for you to be and you know done. They wanted you to die. All right, it says here you are protected. The Most High would not allow anyone to harm you. All right, you could be seeing owls, or you're gonna see owls after this as confirmation. But yeah, they try to attack you, and they're too physically spiritually and and mentally low vibrational again something about uh right here weak willed you know it happened with people low vibrational like them but that shit ain't gonna rock with you so you are these people's karma yeah look we got it right here too you are their karma see what i'm saying all right what do we have here they wanted you to be blinded from the truth. They wanted, again, third eye, the third eye card that came out. They didn't want you to be tapped in. They didn't want you to know what was going on. You know, they wanted you, again, like indecisive, stuck, not knowing what to do, not knowing, you know, what move to make. Yeah, we got also crown chakra. So more confirmation that they did not want you to know what was going on. They was attacking your crown chakra. They didn't want you to get downloads from spirit. They didn't want you to get information. They didn't want you to come across these readings either to give you clarity. All right. And we have third party involved. Someone acquired the assistance of a practitioner. So they went to a, again, a voodoo priest right here. This godmother or godfather. All right. They went to this person to help them to do this. And uh, now everybody that's involved is going to get karma. Somebody's going to pass away. All right. Spirit is saying here uh, to listen to... Uh, you could you, you could listen to this on YouTube, uh, Tibetan singing bowls. You could listen to that, or you could get one. All right, and it's to help you to clear unwanted energy in your space. Okay, we have here at the bottom. They're paying for or doing readings themselves about you to be all in your business. Yeah, they're trying to see you know what's going on, trying to see uh, if the black magic is working, trying to see whatever they're trying to see. They're getting readings done for sure. What else, spirit? All right, what well, was meant to break you, it only made you stronger, okay? You needed to go through this, uh, you know, like spiritual boot camp, all right? You needed to go through it, all right? Spirit is saying they was doing all this damn research on you, but they should have done more research with these readings that they was doing on you and realized that you are not to be played with. So now everything's getting reversed, and it's not, it's not nobody's fault but theirs. Nobody told them to be doing this shit, all right? We have here karma's hitting them in the pockets, all right? So they were trying to... Again, steal, okay? They could have been stealing in the spiritual. All right. What do we have here? 
trying to bind the divine being by the way of period sex. So this is for the one that's connected to the karmic that is around them. She was probably trying to put period blood in, in the food and the drinks. Uh, or trying to have sex while she was on her period to bind this person. Anything else for it? They couldn't keep up their part of the deal. They couldn't sacrifice you. The Grim Reaper will pay them a visit to collect what's due. Okay. So, yeah, they tried it. I'm telling you. They try to do these death spells on you. Try to sacrifice you. Try to do the most. And it's not going to work. We have here that there's a karmic masculine involved. So, we got Carmelo. So, double confirmation that there's a masculine involved here. And, uh, again, you know, they was, didn't I say something about depression earlier? And here it is. You know, they were trying to attack your mental health, trying to attack your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, one of you cl clouded, you know, blinded from the truth, uh, feeling depressed, feeling down. OK, it says here the joke is on them because you're the one getting the last laugh. Absolutely. You're getting the last laugh when it comes to these karmics. So, you know, just understand that you needed to go through this. All right. To serve them their karma. All right. You are their karma. Anything else, spirit? You are the bait. You know, they needed to to come across you. You know, y'all needed to meet each other um because it, you know you you are the bait they bit the bait they try to attack you try to steal from you spiritually physically whatever and now they're gonna get karma all right so it's bigger than you and this karmic hater you know like there, there was a purpose behind this and all interactions okay anything else okay somebody gonna get locked up and somebody going to end up being hospitalized. Well, damn. All right. Shit. Yeah, this high priestess. All right. This Yeah, there you go. Carmisha. All right. So Carmisha is going to maybe end up going to prison. And, and you know, she's going to get hospitalized first or something. But, yeah, this little witch right here, this high priestess who's a, a dark high priestess. Okay. She works in the dark side. Carmisha is going to end up in, in this. Okay. There's somebody that she could be going to, she could go to church or she acts like she's, uh, you know, uh, uh in, into church and shit like that. But, you know, she's really on the dark side. Okay. Tell me more. Again, this toxic karmic masculine energy keeps coming out. We have here, karmic sends her friends to watch you or add you. Yeah. So again, somebody's trying to be cool with you they, they, or they're going to come in. Somebody's going to try to come into your life and try to be your friend or some shit. And it's really to get information. All right, we have knows your address. So we saw that the karmic was looking you up on Google. All right, so they know where you live at. Okay, and you know that the karmic is committed to the streets. Everybody knows. <laughs> okay, what else? We have here new moon plotting. So the new moon just passed uh, like two weeks ago. We got the full moon coming up. So they probably doing rituals every moon cycle, but it ain't going to work. We have divine masculine has been crying over... Divine Feminine. All right. We have somebody a sex fiend here. And Karmic is obsessively getting readings. Yeah, again, they're doing readings, getting readings on you. We got confirmation of that earlier with the other card. All right. This Karmic is obsessed. And they're spiritually not going to receive any assistance. They don't have any protection. They are not connected to the Divine. Okay. Nothing. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, look. We got this Warlock. This Brujo. This... Uh, male witch that is involved here we got a voodoo priest so we got double confirmation that there's a whale a male a whale i don't know <laughs> a male witch that is uh helping this karmic okay we got the letter x we got the letter p they're not happy because they're about to get karma again this uh mother mother-in-law or mother figure is involved double confirmation with that and only on camera. So, yeah, on camera, everybody's acting like, like everybody's all good. Everything's happy. But behind the scenes, they're doing voodoo behind the scenes. They're trying to trap people behind the scenes. They are crime family behind the scenes. And people getting locked up behind the scenes, hospitalized, and dying behind the scenes. So, stay woke. You heard? All right, y'all. I'm done here. Peace.